Welcome to another video brought to you by MilitaryCAC.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to configure Firefox 6.0 to gain access to any CAC enabled website. Now the first thing we want to do is plug your CAC card reader into your Mac and then take your CAC card and plug it into the reader. Now the fastest and easiest way I've seen to make sure your cat card reader is reading your cat card is go ahead and open up keychain access and right above login you actually see your cat card and you'll see your certificates so now that I can see all my certificates and they are all valid I'm gonna go ahead and quit keychain now the next thing we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna download the cat key package from software.fort.mil's website. Now I will have all this information in the description. So let's go ahead and click on the link. Click on OK. Now you're going to actually want to download the very first one which is 0.5.20 created on 10-15-2010 at 1.31 p.m. Let's click on that. Now I'm running Snow Leopard, so I'm going to want to go ahead and download the CAC key underscore 0 0.5.20 Snow Leopard package. Alright, click on it. Click I agree. It's going to get downloaded. Let's clear it. Let me quit Safari. Alright, uh, let's go to the download folder and let's go ahead and just move that file to the desktop. Now, once it's on the desktop, let's just go ahead and double click it. And you're actually going to see a CAC key package that we're going to need to install. So, double click on that package and just simply follow the steps in installing it. Install for all users. Continue now. This is actually as far as I'm going to go since I've already installed the package. So after you click install, it's going to ask for your username and type your password in. Click OK and install, and it takes about a few seconds to install the package. And once you say the package is successfully installed, you can just go ahead and quit the installer. Now, after we do that, we're going to want to go ahead and open up Firefox. All right. Now, within the toolbar, you're going to want to go to Firefox, Preferences, Advanced, Encryption, Security Devices, and let's go ahead and load a new module. So, off to the right, we're going to want to click on Load. On the module name, let's go ahead and call it CAC Key. Now, for the module file name, let's go ahead and click on there, and we're going to need to browse to the location. So let's click on Browse. Now, under Devices, click on your hard drive. Click on Library. And there is the CAC key folder. Let's click on that. And you're going to want to select the lib CAC key underscore G dot DY lib. Let's go ahead and click on open and OK. All right, and as we can see, the module got loaded and it is reading my cat card. So let's go ahead and click OK and we can close out of this. Now there's one more tweak we need to make. So go ahead and go to the URL of Firefox and you're going to want to type on about, that's A-B-O-U-T, colon, config, C-O-N-F-I-G, and hit enter. Now go ahead and click on, I'll be careful, I promise. Alright, now what this does, it actually allows you to make a lot of tweaks to Firefox. Now the only tweak we're going to need to make is one and that's to the security SSL. 
Now, once again, I will have this in the description. So all you have to do is go ahead and highlight it all and copy it. So that's Command C and go to the filter and Command V to paste it in there. Now, we're going to want to change this value from false to true. And all you have to do to do that is double click on it. Now that it says true, we can go ahead and quit Firefox. Now you don't want to just X out of Firefox, you actually want to go to the Firefox bar and say quit Firefox. Alright, now that Firefox is quit, let's go ahead and reopen it. And let's try a CAC website. Let's try the US Air Force portal. Alright. I'm going to go to the portal's homepage. I'm going to click on I agree. CAC login. Type in your PIN. Click OK. And you actually see two certificates. Now for the US Air Force portal you're actually going to want to select your email certificate which in my case is number one. So go ahead and click on OK. If it doesn't work for you go ahead and try number two or I'm sorry number zero. But let's go ahead and, and there we go. We're in. Now let's try another one. We're going to go to the AKO. Alright, let's go ahead and click on I accept. CAC login. Notice it did not ask me for my PIN because it actually stored the PIN actually in the catch. So for the AKO, it actually uses your identity uh, certificate off your CAC card, which as you can see, there's only one certificate to select. So let's go ahead and click on OK and it is going to let us in and there you go we are in alright quit Firefox there now if you have any questions please feel free to contact us um, you can email us at max support at militarycac.com and I also put in my email address which is timothy.solberg at militarycac.com and a good phone number to contact me at is 202-455-8037 please note I do work Monday through Friday from about 0600 to 1700 Eastern Standard Time so the best time to get a hold of me I would say would be around 1800 Monday through Friday and any time on the weekend would be good once again if you have any questions please contact us and thank you for, mili for visiting militarycac.com and have a nice day